Hey guys, how's it going? Crane here. So recently I've been struggling to find uh, the good aspects of Hearthstone. Now, you know, don't get me wrong, when the expansion comes out, I think every game mode will be rejuvenated at least for a month, probably several months if uh, if we're talking Arena and they have ongoing changes, as they said, you know, they will have if there are issues with the game mode. But right now, in the days leading to the expansion, there's like nobody playing Arena, and it's so difficult to find some enjoyment when you're only playing against top-tier decks constantly. And when you're playing Constructed Mode, it's the same thing. It's tired out. I mean, we've been playing the same Constructed Mode for months. We've seen the same big, powerful decks, the same important cards driving the meta again and again and again and again. And it's really these like days, this like last week of the expansion that a lot of us really struggle to find uh, fun as aspects in the game. And uh, as such, I tried to explore the wild mode recently, and I had a little bit of fun, so today I want to share that experience. Um, now, I can't say I had just an absolute blast and everything was awesome. No, it was, it was all right. Uh, I think uh, out of what I've played out of Hearthstone in the last week or so, it probably is uh, the fun aspect. And, you know, maybe that is a really good piece of news. You want to play some Hearthstone and you you know, kind of tired of the same old, maybe you should try wild mode in this last week because it is a little bit of a different game mode and it is actually pretty fun. In my adventures, I was playing a secret paladin that was also a control paladin that was also an anything can happen murloc paladin. It's similar to some of the more powerful decks out there. I was told by some of the people who uh, are some of my subs and they, they play wild mode exclusively in some cases that just pure anything pally is just kind of better. But um, yeah, I wasn't so sure that was the case and I really wanted to go for a completely new gameplay experience and having never really played Secret Paladin because it was the disease-written deck that it was back in the day, well, it was kind of a new experience and uh, really added to the uh, entertainment factor that I was seeking so much. So today I want to share with you guys those experiences and maybe encourage you to try out Wild Mode as well. So uh, yeah, check out the games, let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay. The light protects when I'm playing new season Diablo. Hmm. Well, I'm playing on it now. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. Seems like this could backfire pretty hard. The battle. Crip is slowly expelling salt and replacing it with sugar. I'm gonna go power puff girl soon. Alright. Yeah, it's a thing. Welcome. Okay. Do I still play PR off stream? Oh, Power Rangers? Um, I haven't really played much off stream lately, no. Just open those crates, do like a couple games, that's about it. By the holy light. What? Did they just win? Okay. Yeah, I'm still playing Star Wars Force Arena. I got Kyber a few days back. It was nice. For 
I mostly just try to keep up with the uh, daily login rewards and when they have like a big event, I try to complete those before the time runs out. Which means I play like a few games every other day. Yeah, saw any patch nuts. I think, um, I know some people are going to definitely disagree, but I think it's okay. In Star Wars Force Arena, they're making 2v2 casual and 1v1 is ranked. And some people are like quitting the game over that. But like... I think the really big part that they're missing here... Is that the people who are on Reddit are the same people who play 2v2 only with their bros who also have extremely high levels in the same guild as Empire and then win like everything as a result. And that, that's just simply not what people experience, okay? I think the Reddit community in that game is like abusing a few of the things in the game and as a result they think the whole game is is exactly as they see it Who am I? None of your business. which is kind of BS actually Fine. Uh, 2v2 is like really hard for them to balance and instead of like balancing just 2v2 or just 1v1 they basically do it like in the middle, and then neither mode is very balanced, but if there's any weakness in balance, people exploit the hell out of it by playing 2v2 as Empire. So, yeah. Oh! It lives! Oh! Yes! Doctor Seven, dude, we are beyond this. I like redemption. Try to get a little card draw. That's pretty good. Okay. I think this is pathetic playing wild because I'm afraid of arena. It's not really about being afraid, I mean... If I was afraid I wouldn't have played the last six days. It's just a bad experience. The reason I don't play rank mode most of the time is because rank mode is a bad experience. Now arena is a bad experience. Hopefully both, or at least one of the two, is fixed in a big way in the next expansion. But How do you know? Twelve Angry Men. Yeah, I think I saw that. You'd be hyped for the next expansion if Jades didn't exist. Well, if you're on that narrative, you're gonna really enjoy tomorrow's YouTube video. now because I have very few murlocs left in the deck. Just the two, right? Yeah. What makes Rain is so bad right now? 
It just there's not that many people playing it, and that screws it up, and that screws it up extra for a streamer like me. That's interesting. Good equality. Oh, I know. We're gonna do options, options. quality. Are you ready for some hacks? Oh, it lives! <laughs> Alright. Yeah, if he's got a swipe, he's in pretty good shape. But if he doesn't, he's totally fucked. There's, there's no way you can get through this without a swipe. I don't think I have any more though. Hacker Blizzban. <laughs> oh dude. Uh, I don't don't really think you know what you're doing there. Shetty's Mad Bomber or Doomsayer. I don't know how good Doomsayer would really be. Druid is a pretty insane aggro deck. Him having a Warlock hero power is pretty scary. But, uh, yeah. We'll see, I guess. Uh, I'm not really playing Secret Pally. I'm playing Murloc, Anyfin Pally. I have a few Secrets and two Mysterious Challengers because they're pretty good uh, threats and they... They thin up my deck a lot. It's kind of like having a card draw, but not exactly card draw. Eh, that's very nice, I think. die here. I have to pop the egg to clear it. It's very difficult otherwise. Well, if I can get a clear, it would be really, really good. Because I get the draws, I get a reset. Yeah. It's pretty fucking spectacular. Okay. No 
Alright, so I think if that kills that, it won't have enough space on the board. Heal next turn, I can get this. I think I am just gonna heal. That's a beautiful card there, guys. Okay. Well played. Uh, we got this. The light protects me. I can see. Phew, tough one. I like the hint a lot. Once upon a time. Read it front page, Miss Lethal. Okay. Sure. Reporting for duty. You guys are still working on the math from last game? Uh, okay. Yeah, it's like it's like really tough. It's really complicated equation, so I don't blame you guys. This is where I just don't want to draw any fucking secrets whatsoever. Just failed the first time. Maybe we will get lucky on the on the next. Still gonna do the secrets first. Jack Dragon Operative is the only reason this matchup can be a nine. Secret agent. Oh. He's got a bunch of extra ones. Uh. Does that mean I have to save the coin? God, this is so stupid. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking if I save the coin, I can anything before he can use my anything. Are you mocking me? Because priest, you know. That's how it works. That's really good for me. We're gonna get another one of those. Just 
trying to think. I'm going to 20. Yeah, it's going to be lethal. It's going to be lethal. Wonderful. It's the second one he made up. I'm just quickly do the damage numbers. We get Finja, three Warly. Oh, it's over. Fuck my wasting my time adding this up. That's why we saved the coin. 